Hey everyone, okay so today I'm going to show you how to get really beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous realistic looking skin with just a few products. Happy New Year also. So let's just jump right in. So for me, if I could have picked a brand other than my own that was the standout brand of the year, for me it would have been Rose Ink. To me the whole thing is absolute perfection. And in this video, which is not sponsored, all these products are mine and purchased by myself, I'm gonna show you how to get really, really beautiful radiant skin. So I'm basically going to use about four products. I'm going to use the serum, which really is just a serum with a hint of pigment. There's a bronzer, there's a blusher. I'm going to use a mattifying kind of balm, and I'm also going to use a couple of brushes and a sponge. So let's make a start. So you want to start with fresh skin that is clean and has a touch of moisture to it, which mine does. So let's start with where we start, which will of course be the serum. Now the serum is a very peculiar product because technically it's skincare, but what you are getting in here is encapsulated pigment. Now don't think you're gonna get a lot of pigment, you are not. You're gonna get very little, if any, but it does give a very sheer appearance to the skin. So what I like to do is just give it a shake and I actually like to just kind of put this on the actual brush itself rather than on my hand. So I'm just gonna kind of take a pump of it and just place it directly on the brush. Now I'm using shade 40. And what I'm going to do here is dot it onto the skin and then I'm just going to blend it in. So it provides a veil of sheer color. And that is what I like about it. I'm still pretty old school when it comes to myself and makeup. I do not want anybody to know that I have anything on my skin at all. I just don't like it. I don't want anybody to ever go, oh, that looks like foundation. No, 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 it's not for me. So this product is perfect because it provides that. It provides the sheerest coverage that I've ever seen. But it provides enough that your skin is more even. It looks more beautiful and radiant. Now, you're gonna run into some issues, as I mentioned with this product before, which is if you have red ears like myself, they're gonna need covering with a product that has a little bit more pigment in, which I will be doing. But for my face, this is enough to just even it out and make it look a bit more perfect. Because this is such sheer pigment as well, you can actually, or on the side of caution and go a shade or two darker or a shade lighter than you would with a normal product because it is so much more forgiving because of the amount of sheer pigment. So the next thing we're gonna do is deal with the ears and talk about concealer. So Rising Concealer is an excellent, excellent concealer. It really is. And it is a very thick full coverage concealer as well. So you could use this as a foundation easy and it's a liquid, but it really reacts more like a very heavy coverage cream. It's pretty impressive. Now, I don't want to put this on my face because I don't need it. So I don't want to add product that I don't need. But what I do need is some coverage on my ears because I need to take the color down because they're just too red and they stand out too much. So I'm just going to take down some of the color so that my ears kind of match the rest of my body, which is important. Now there's also some excess redness on my cheek. So whatever's left, I'm just gonna very lightly stipple over that area, but nothing extreme. I don't want there to be even a hint of makeup on my face. Now the next product that I'm gonna use is incredible. Now this is the blusher. It's a cream blusher and there is a plethora of shades and they are just gorgeous. And it's a cream blusher, which is heavenly. So I'm gonna use the Rose Ink blusher brush. And what I'm gonna do is just dip some product in here, get it onto the brush, and then I'm gonna lightly stipple this on the areas where basically I just covered all that redness, the irony. 
So I'm going to build up some colour and I'm just plonking it on because I'm going to blend it in a minute and I want it just above the brow as well, it's winter. Then I'm just going to knock off any excess and now I'm going to really lightly blend this in. Now some people like a lot of blush, some people like a little bit. I like a lot, I like to look flushed. I think it's really attractive to have a flushed face and since I don't wear you know mascara and lipstick it's just great for me in the way that I like to look and just blend it in until it's one with the skin and it's all buffed in and you're left with this kind of rosy look to the skin which I really love and I just like to go around the edges with the same brush I used with the serum just to you know tie it all in now, even though it's winter, we might want to look a little bit more jolly. So what I'm gonna do is take the bronzer, and this is a cream bronzer, and I'm just gonna kind of swirl it in, and then I'm gonna just take this around the outside perimeter of the face. It's just gonna add a touch of warmth to the skin, but just a touch. And I want to make sure that I kind of blend this into the hairline and then I'm bringing it down and I don't have to worry about it kind of getting into the beard or any facial hair because it's not gonna do that. But it just adds a little bit more glow to the skin. And because it's a good color, I use khaki, it's not a million miles away from my neck so I can get away with this whole kind of look without having to bring things down. Now at the moment, there's a lot of, to me, there's a lot of shine going on on my face, which I don't think is necessarily that attractive for me in the way that the planes of my face are. So I don't really want there to be too much shine here because it just emphasizes the kind of mallow bags that I have. So what I want to do is take away a lot of that um, shine. And what I'm going to do is take a mattifying balm and I'm going to use a beauty blender. And this is a great balm. It's way too expensive that for what it is, but it's a great balm if you don't like powder. And what I'm gonna do is just bounce this on the T-zone only, and it's instantly taken away the shine. Just on the T-zone, where I don't want there to be any shine at all. And I'm gonna go over the eyelid, and I'm gonna hit this outer part where the mallow bag is as well because it just, you can see, I hope, that it's taken away that kind of shine where the mala bag is, whereas this one is still really visible. So I'm gonna do the same side and just hit the bag because then it becomes less shiny and therefore it doesn't stand out as much. And this is great because you can take this with you and you can just touch your face up throughout the day and there is no powder to it whatsoever but there is still some shine to the face where you want there to be shine. So let me put some glasses on. There we go, I can see properly. Now, no one, no one is gonna to say to me, look, they've got foundation on, because it doesn't look like there's anything on my skin whatsoever. The, the skin is completely natural, it looks flawless. I didn't use a touch of concealer underneath my eyes. Granted, I don't really need a lot of it anyway, but I didn't overload the skin with product that wasn't required. I used enough to achieve the result that I wanted. And this is so pared back, but you've got that really lovely kind of flushed cheek. And if you want more, and why would you not, then just add more just to give more of a glow to that cheek area, particularly if you've just matted it down, why not add a bit more back in? Add a bit more color. But because these are all creams that I've just used and I've used no actual um, powder whatsoever, I've just got that really kind of fresh skin-like look to the skin. And it looks healthy and super and gorgeous and it is my brand of the year. I think Rose Ink did the most incredible job of achieving 
that kind of look of perfect, beautiful skin that looks real. And I'm not, I'm not an opponent against full coverage foundations, far from it, I love it. But there is something so beautifully paired back about this range that there's not a single product I've tried that I didn't really like. Granted, there is the cream eyeshadows, which are really nice, but I don't quite get them. To me, they don't, they don't feel like they fit into the brand because there's just something a bit odd about them. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's the color. I don't know, but there's just something that isn't quite as beautiful as all the rest. And I've tried everything. I've tried the lipsticks. The cream blushes are my, they are just amazing. I love the serum foundation. I love the bronzer. The eyelash color is excellent. The concealer is phenomenal if you want to add more coverage or just a full coverage look. It is perfect for that. The whole line is beautiful and an absolute joy. And one of my favorite brands, if not my favorite brand currently, because there is something so beautiful about it. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate your time. This is realistic looking skin, and I love that. Let me know what your thoughts are about this brand, about the look, and about anything else. Leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to check it out. Thank you for your time, see you all soon, bye-bye.